There are all these numbers on the inside of my glasses, but what do they mean? Pull up a chair, let's talk about it. Thank you so much for joining me. As always, I am Eyeglass Tyler, an optician with Sport RX. Welcome again to my home. Please make yourself comfortable. I want to talk about those numbers on the inside of your glasses. Could be a simple answer, you know, information specific to your frame, but I want to get a little more in depth here because why not? Seems like a good idea to me. So I'm going to talk about how to differentiate the model information from the frame measurement information. I'll talk a little bit about specific frame measurements like 52 or 54 specifically. And what does that mean? I'll talk about the measurements, if they're maybe not on your frame, how you can take them. And then I'll wrap it up with what size might be right for you. So uh, giddy up, let's get going. Let's start with how to differentiate between model information and frame measurement information. And I'll start with measurement information because this is the most similar across all brands and styles. And let's throw out a number like 5418. And these you will normally see either on the inside of one of the temples or etched into the backside of the bridge if it's a metal frame and is referring to the lens width and the bridge width respectively. These two numbers are usually separated by a little square. If you are looking at another number, maybe something like a 120 or 125 or 135, 145, this is most likely referring to the temple length measurement. And I would like to encourage you to not be too strict on that temple length measurement because there are a lot of reasons why these differ. And just because it may be a little shorter, a little longer than what you have in your current pair doesn't mean that they won't work for you. So I don't want you to discredit a certain frame as it may be great for you. So these are the things that are referring to measurement information. If it's not this, it is most likely model information. And what you're likely going to see is some alphanumeric model number that is going to be some form of an acronym of the brand, say Maui Jim. They have MJ to start the model number and then a four digit number to end that model information and maybe a dash and some other numbers and that would refer to color code. But some other brands like to also include a specific name, which I like because it makes it easier to identify a frame. Let's say the Oakley Holbrook is a very popular frame and is a good idea to have that name as a way to understand this whole frame style. And so that's another way that you can figure out what you're looking at and what that means. And so keep an eye out for that. So let's talk some specific measurements. Let's say 52 or 54. As I touched on a moment ago, that is referring to the lens width, specifically the lens width at its widest point. As there can be so many different lens shapes out there to keep it uniform, they measure it at the widest point from left to right. Now the difference between a 52 and a 54 is going to be width, of course, and it will affect how the frame fits overall because each lens is wider by two millimeters. The whole frame will be wider and therefore be a larger fit. If you're looking at a single model that's available in a 52 and a 54, of course, the 54 is going to be larger. Generally speaking, there's no difference in the measurements of the rest of the frame, meaning the bridge width should be the same and the temple length is usually also the same. The lens height will differ a little bit, but that's just to maintain the shape of of the lens. If you were to only make it wider and not make it any taller, then it would change the shape of the lens and overall the aesthetics of the frame. That pretty well covers the difference between those measurements. All right, so you've gotten to this point in the video and you've realized that there are none of these numbers on your frame. Well, could be a couple of reasons. Maybe for some crazy reason, the manufacturer didn't write it on the frame. That's uncommon, but still possible. Also, it might be that the numbers rubbed off. That is very possible and pretty common actually, but there is still hope. You can measure it yourself. Like I said, this is all measured in millimeters. And so just get your millimeter ruler out. And for the lens width, just measure, like I said, the widest point in the lens from left to right. The bridge width really isn't super important because honestly, the bridge width is just the closest point between the left and right lens. It's not saying how it fits on your bridge. It's not giving you a measurement of where it touches the nose. It gives you the measurement of the distance between the lenses. 
there is a more important, actually, measurement that you can check out, which is the temple to temple. That's a favorite for Sporter X because it gives you a better idea of the actual width of the frame and how it will fit the face. And we actually have a unique measurement that we call the SFW. Check out that link right there. And you can get a little more information on what that looks like and maybe how to measure it for yourself or maybe we've measured it for you and you can call us and ask us and we'd love to help you. I want to also mention that this is a really useful measurement if you're dealing with a wrapped frame because if you're trying to measure the width of the lens in a wrap frame, it can be really difficult because it's not flat, it's wrapped. So how do you measure that without bending the ruler and whatever, don't have to get into that. But SFW is a good idea, that effective frame width, that temple to temple measurement is a really good idea. So check it out. All right, so then what size is right for me or you or we or the general me or us, whatever? Well, I would encourage you to, I'm sure you've done it already at this point in the video, check out the frame measurements of your specific frame. That'll give you an idea of what'll work for you. Also, you know your head size, you know what you've dealt with when you have been shopping for things like hats and other glasses, you should have an idea of where you fit on the range of, oh, I know I have a small head, oh, I know I have a large head. If you don't know if you're either one of those, I bet you you're probably a medium because most frames tend to be a good mid-range medium fit. And I'll bet that you fall into that category if you don't already know that you have a smaller or larger head. That's usually my recommendation there. You don't always have to look specifically at those measurements. I mentioned that when talking about the temple length, similar for the eye size because the lens shape can affect this as well. So there's a lot of different things that can come into play when choosing the right size for you and your face, but also understanding that the wrap of the frame, if you're looking at a sunglass frame that has a lot of wrap, that can affect things as well. So it can get a little bit tricky. Again, I encourage you to check out that video about the SFW to get a better understanding of measuring the effective width of a frame. But also we have opticians who would love to help you through that. We are very well versed at helping remotely with sizing and making sure you get the right thing. So I would encourage you to reach out to us. So that pretty well covers what you need to know about these numbers on the inside of your glasses and what they mean. Hopefully now you have a much better understanding and are a lot more comfortable looking at your own glasses and being able to determine what is what and what means which and who is howdy. And I would like to let you know also that if you decide to order from SportRx, thanks to our See Better guarantee, you never have to worry about getting something that isn't right or doesn't work for you. And you can take up to 45 days from when you receive them to decide what's right. Just contact us and we'll help you out. Also, if you'd like to get it right the first time, like I mentioned, we have opticians who would love to help you through that process. So reach out to us. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope this was helpful or valuable in some way. If so, throw us a like. It would mean just the world to me. You can check out relevant videos here. And also, if you subscribe, you know you're going to hear about those videos first. Also, we have great content on our social media outlets, and I would encourage you to check us out there too, at SportRx. Thank you much so much, many, many much. Thank you.